Day two. This is Friday's maths lesson, and it's the last lesson on uh, weight and measuring maths this half term. Um, and our focus today is to compare and order maths. Now, when you think about maths, think about weight. Is something light? Is something heavy? So comparing, essentially, when you look at two or more things and you say, well, which one's heavier, which one's lighter? Uh, and ordering when you put things in order, either from heaviest to lightest, or of course, from lightest to heaviest. Um, so before we start, here's something you need to know. When we have been talking about mass and weight this um, week, we've been talking about grams and we've been talking about kilograms. Now those are shown here by a G and a kg. Now of course, G is for gram, kilogram is sorry kg is for kilogram it's really important that you know it takes a thousand grams to be the same as one kilogram so one kilogram is much heavier than just one gram by itself so one of those is much 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 lighter than a kilogram you need a thousand kilo uh, sorry a thousand grams to equal one kilogram that's important you know because the first thing we're going to do is do some ordering so we want to go from lightest to heaviest. So pause the video here, look at these um, masses and weights, write them down in order from lightest to heaviest. And at the moment I'm gonna tell you the answers. All right, so you need to be careful about whether these are grams or kilograms. Remember, grams are much lighter than kilograms. So let's take our grams first. We've got 26 grams, um and 75 grams right well obviously 26 is smaller than 75 so that will go first 26 grams then 75 grams now we can look at these kilograms be three kilograms six kilograms 10 kilograms and 75 kilograms now notice that even though six is a bigger number than uh sorry six is a smaller number than 75 because this is grams, this would go first. Grams are lighter than kilograms. The units there are really important, so keep your eyes on those. Let's have a look at some scales then. So as I said, we are comparing, which means we're going to be using more than, equal to, or less than. So when we look at these scales, well, first of all, we need to make sure we can read them. So we're working on kilograms, that's important to know. And this arrow is pointing to the four. So on this side, we have got four kilograms. Now on this side, the arrow is pointing to nothing. There's no number there. So I've got to figure out what um, this scale is doing. Right, we've got counting in twos with the numbers, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Our arrow is in between 14 and 16. So that must be 15 kilograms well done if you got that answer before i did um so now i know what the different weights are on the scales i've got four kilograms and 15 kilograms i can say uh, what we need to put in the middle to compare them and i would say four kilograms is less than 15 kilograms so you could put that in between the scales there in that circle or you could pop it there by the numbers four kilograms is less than 15 kilograms remember it can help you maybe to think about these signs like crocodiles. They're greedy crocodiles. They want to eat the bigger number. So this one is going to try and eat the 15 because that's the bigger number. It opens that mouth that way. Right, next one. Oh, a little bit more complicated here. So our numbers on the scale are counting in tens. We've got one, two, three, four, five each time. So we're not counting in ones because that would be one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't work. Maybe we're counting in twos. Let's try it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hey, we're counting in twos. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen on that side. So we've got sixteen kilograms over there. And on this side, oh, nice and simple. We're pointing straight at the thirty. We've got thirty kilograms. So uh, we need to put something in the middle here to compare them. Sixteen is less than 30 kilograms. 16 is less than 30 kilograms. Nice and simple. And one more of these to look at. 
Oh, now we need to be really careful here because we're working in different units. Look, on this side, we've got kilograms. And on this side, we've got grams. Now, grams are much, much lighter, remember? It would take a thousand grams just to be one kilogram. So we need to bear that in mind when we're thinking about our scales. Let's have a look at where our arrow is pointing to. In between 30 and 40, right in the middle of 30 and 40 is 35. So that's going to be on this side, 35 kilograms. Over here, we are in the middle of 50 and 60. I think we're counting in fives. Let's check. So that's 30, 35, 40. Yeah, that's right. 45, 50. Good. And in the middle there will be 55. Again, well done if you got there before me. Now, looking at these numbers, you might say, oh, easy. 35 is less than 55, but you would be wrong. That's bad. That's wrong. Um, 35 kilograms is much, much more than only 55 grams. Even though the numbers are the other way around, these units are really important. Kilograms are heavier than grams. So 35 kilograms is much heavier than 55 grams. Right, so that is comparing and ordering mass. We can also do a couple of um, problem solving uh, challenges here. So it says, oh, in fact, let's look at our balance scale first. We need to check that it is balanced. Is it nice and flat? Yes, so these two sides are equal. So two bananas is the same as four apples on this scale. It says one apple weighs five cubes. How many cubes does one banana weigh? Okay. So let's think about what the question is asking us. How many cubes does one banana weigh? So we just want to know, let's grab that, what one banana equals in weight. Now, this is a bit of a multi-step problem. So if you want to, you can pause the video here and have a go yourself. Um, or if you want to listen to me explain the answer, I'm going to do that now. So we know that one apple weighs five cubes. So if we think one of these is five cubes heavy. Now we can figure out the weight of this side because it's 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's 20 and then we're working in cubes. So I'm going to try and write cubes. Sorry, my writing's messy. Um, it's because I'm using a laptop. So I've got 20 cubes on this side. Now we've already said these balance scales are equal. They're balanced. So if this side is 20 cubes, well, that means this side over here must also be 20 cubes. So I now know that two bananas is the same as 20 cubes. So one banana, well, that would be half, wouldn't it? One is half of two. So what is half of 20? 20 divided by two. Half of 20 is 10. How many cubes does one banana weigh? 10. Well, I've got to put my units in because that could be 10 grams, 10 kilograms. It could be anything. You need to make sure you're saying what you're measuring in. If you're measuring in cubes, say 10 Ooh, cubes. If you're measuring in grams, use grams, kilograms, use kilograms. Make sure you're writing your units down after your number. That's really important. And one more then to do here. Once again, if you want to have a go by yourself independently first, pause the video and have a go, or you can listen to me explain it straight away. One apple weighs 10 cubes. How much does one banana way. So once again, we want to know the weight of one banana, just one banana. So we want to know what does one banana equal in cubes. Let's look at the information we have. One apple weighs 10 cubes. So one of those is 10 cubes. So we can work out the weight of this side, can't we? 10, 20, 30, three times 10. So this side is 30 cubes. And because it's balanced, once again, we can see this balance scale is flat. It's balanced. That means that this side is also 30 cubes. Brilliant. So three bananas is 30 cubes. We haven't finished yet. It doesn't say how much does three bananas weigh. It asks how much does one banana weigh. Well, forget to get from three to one, we have to divide by three. So we have to do the same to 30. 30 divided by three which hopefully you're ahead of me equals 10 cubes. Once again, 
make sure you're writing down cubes to say what units you are working in. Right, let's have a quick look then at your independent task for today. Um, yeah, that's the one. So first thing you've got to do, just like we practiced, is compare the scales. For each one, look carefully at what units you're working in. These are working in grams. We're weighing quite light things, so eggs and chocolate. Look where the um, hand on the scale is pointing. Here it's on the 50, that should be nice and simple. Here it's between the 20 and the 30. So have a think, what's in between 20 and 30? Same for these two. Um, look carefully at the scales in the middle here in that circle. Do an equal to, a less than or a more than, depending on what you think. Then for B, you've got to put the masses in order from lightest to heaviest. Remember, please, grams are much lighter than kilograms. So, for example, these two, we've got 75 grams and 25 kilograms. 70 grams is lighter, even though it's a bigger number, because you're working in grams. So do your grams first, then do your kilograms when you put them in order. Then we've got some problems just like the ones we just did with the fruits. One pear weighs 10 cubes. So if one of these is 10 cubes, well, we've got four here. So you'll know how much is there. How many cubes will balance one pineapple? Now, there's two on this side at the moment. So you'll have to halve it. If you want to keep it balanced, it means you'll have to halve this side too. Then we've got some apples and bananas. Dan says the apple has a larger mass than the banana. Is he correct? And how do you know? Well, look at that balance scale. What's it doing? Which one is heavier? And then finally, the challenge. Finish off the sentences. Four bananas weigh the same as how many donuts? Oh, that's, you can just look at the picture for that one. Four bananas is the same as how many donuts? Then two bananas weigh the same as, oh, how many donuts? So if you only had two bananas, we took away half of these, how many donuts would we have to say, take away to keep it balanced? We halve this side, guess what we have to do to this side to keep it balanced? And then the final challenge, can you write some sentences using the words more and less using the information in the picture? So for example, one banana weighs less than eight donuts. See if you can do any more sentences using more and less. I'm expecting everyone to do at least two sentences. If you can do more, that's even better. As always, when you have finished your maths learning, send it to your teacher on eSchools and we will mark it and send it back. Right. Um, that's everything. Enjoy the maths. Bye bye.